hello friends so in this session we will uh, learn interconvergence of monosaccharides so we can convert one uh, saccharide into another uh, saccharide also so here is some examples conversion of aldopentose to aldohexose so this is a pentose sugar and which is aldehydic pentose sugar and we are converting into aldehydic hexose sugar with six carbon so this process is uh, called as the kiliani fischer uh, fischer synthesis or chain elongation because uh, we are increasing one more carbon atoms from uh, to pentose to hexose so this is one of the example of uh, pentose sugar that is your arabinose sugar cho choh whole thrice and ch2h2 so 3 plus 2 5 carbons and in this case you are adding the this is your mild oxygen uh, uh, mild amount of scn in presence of scn so this scn will uh, uh, addition reaction take place in the cho groups so it will form cyanohydrin over here so after cyanohydrin it becomes 6 carbon and then again acidic hydrolysis so CL will convert into carboxylic acid so this becomes a glucaric acid so up to here to here is the Kiliani synthesis and after that uh, the next step was done by the Fischer Fischer synthesis that's why it is a combination of the two names that's called Kiliani and Fischer synthesis so up here glucaric acid uh, Kiliani has synthesized and after if you heat it so on heating so you will get here so this is your uh, uh, so this is uh, uh, you call as gamma electron so gamma electron means one carbon from the gamma will attack on this carbon to form a you can see five member things are there so this is called as gamma electron and gamma electron if you give the sodium um, amalgam in acetic medium or you can reduce by the sodium borohydride so this uh, is converted into your glucose so that that's why it is called as Kiliani phase synthesis so you can see here this is your uh, aldehyde carboxylic group and this alpha beta and gamma so gamma from the uh, hydrogen from here it is coming to this oxygen is attacking over here this carbon to form this five member ring you can see here so this, part, this part is very important and in this way we will get this one conversion of aldose to uh, sorry a pentose to hexose sugar now next is a modified Kiliani fischer synthesis in this case uh, same thing is there this is our arabinose sugar is there and in presence of, in presence of cyanohydrin uh, sorry SCN and uh, SCL uh, in, medi in acidic medium so this uh, CN will attack on this uh, carbonyl carbon to get uh, CN and after CN the OH part will have two uh, things so one uh, it can be alpha or it can be beta also so this is a C2 epimers so if you get the two type of you can see a diastereomers and under this reduction with uh, platinum berry sulfate so this will convert into imine so you can see this is imine again if uh, you go acidic hydrolysis so this convert into your uh, your two glucose and mannose so these two are diastereomers is to each other and ammonia is the byproduct the imine will convert into ammonium ion so this is the another uh, modified Kiliani uh, fischer systems from the previous one now in this uh, we will see the conversion of aldohexose into aldohydrogen means reverse of the previous one this is called as a rough uh, degradation or chain shortening that was the chain elongation and this was the chain shortening so opposite of Kiliani fischer synthesis so take any d glucose and give bromine water so bromine water is red in color so it will de decolorize it will give you aldonic acid so ch will be oxidized into carboxylic acid we are converting aldehyde into carboxylic acid again we can convert carboxylic acid into the your aldehyde by using this one fentose reagent. So this will emerge as a carbon dioxide. So already you have read in your uh, carboxylic acid chapters this reagent can convert carboxylic acid into aldehyde and removing the one carbon. So in this way we will get here D glucose into the aldo pentose or D arabinose sugar. This is the one method of a chain shortening. Second method is your Wohl method of degradation. So this is our glucose and if you give hydroxylamine so it will combine at the carboxyl uh, carbonyl carbon uh, it will form an oxide you can see here NOH is an oxide and again in presence of acetic anhydride so in acetic anhydride what will happen this will convert into uh, your uh, CN so with the uh, removal of water and all uh, OH will convert into your you can see here your ester. So again if you give the silver hydroxide which is the mild oxidizing agent so what will happen uh, this will convert into acetic acid and uh, this is again converted into CNOH will convert this will convert to alcohol 
and on heating again this will convert to SCN is as removed and uh, this compound is converted into your pentosomia so the CN is removed and this is again it is converted to your pentose sugar or uh, in other ways if you give a silver hydroxide plus ammonia so what will happen ammonia will uh, react on this uh, uh, CN uh, it will form with this compound so you can see here this compound so it is a C and uh, it has double bond there so you will get here NHCO CS3 hold twice so again if you give the in acidic medium so it will react to give again pentose sugar so this is the way we are uh, removing this uh, CN and this is a chain shortening and in this way we can convert the hexose sugar into the pentose sugar so this is another way of overall degradation and uh, rough degradation to convert uh, 6 carbon to 5 carbon how we can convert glucose into fructose so this is our glucose and if you give uh, this uh, uh, c6 h5 nh nh2 so this will uh, excess in quantities so this will react with this one uh, cho to give a c double bond so oxygen part will be uh, removed and uh, nitrogen of react on, on this oxygen to give nh uh, nnh c6 h5 and and this is already we have seen phenyl hydrazine this reaction so on acetic hydrolysis so this is removed to give your ozone compound so first ozone is formed then uh, again acetic hydrolysis it will convert to ozone so these two will be oxidized here you can see here and again on reduction with zinc acetic acid so what will happen this uh, caldehyde will convert into your uh, alcohol part and this is called as fructose so in this way we can convert glucose into fructose by using uh, this your phenyl hydrazine and reduction with zinc acetic acid so in this way we can get glucose into fructose now we can see how we can convert fructose into glucose so we have this is the fourth reaction so this is the fructose same thing fructose is there if you give uh, reduction so on reduction this will convert into alcohol and uh, you use the fentose reagent so fentose reagent uh, again uh, it will uh, it is a mild oxidizing agent it will attack on the primary carbon so either this side or this side enzyme it can attack so it will give you it will convert into your your aldehyde so in this way we can convert fructose into glucose so we have seen uh, conversion of uh, pentose to hexose hexose to, has to hexose to uh, pentose sugar and then even glucose to fructose fructose to glucose these four conversions are uh, very very important now we'll see the acylation and alkylation uh, reactions of monosaccharides so this is the example of uh, beta d glucose so beta is in upper part so this OH is upper this is called as beta so you are doing acylation acylation uh, use anhydride in excess quantity in feeding solution so all OH part will convert into your anhydride you can see the acid is there so this is your acylation so penta O acetyl beta d glucose esters and for alkylation we use the methyl iodide in excess quantities uh, with the Ag2O solutions so again what will happen so hydrogen part will be removed and the nucleophilic substitution will take place CS3 will uh, react with this to give OCS3 so all where you can see ether is formed so kind of ether and hydrogen hydride is a byproduct so this compound is methyl uh, tetra o methyl beta d glucoside so this is the example of beta d glucose so this is the acylation this is the alkylation reactions you can see one example so in this example this is your uh, sugar arabino sugar and this arabino sugar if you do uh, this uh, alkylation and acylation so alkylation hydrogen removed and methyl is replaced you can see this compound so we have uh, five uh, ethers are there and if you use the esters so the anhydride in pyridine so what will happen same thing hydrogen removed and you will get ac in all the forward sides you can see one two three four so this is example in pentosomia so this is your acylation this is your alkylation these two reactions are there one will see this uh, monosaccharides reactions uh, with ethanol so in this ethanol what will happen this is the beta glucose and this carbon is your hemiacetal why hemiacetal because it has one o and one oh so this is hemiacetal so this is a kind of reducing sugar so when you give uh, one more equivalent of ethanol so what will happen it will also react with hydrogen 
and it will convert into your acetyl compound so hemi acetyl is convert to acetyl compound and this uh, will attack only at the anomeric carbon this carbon only this carbon anomeric carbon you can see here so on reacting so this is converted two type of carbon either you can see here alpha or beta so it is a acetyl or the both are acetyl compounds so we can see here o and o cs cs3 cs2 cs2 cs3 and o cs2 cs3 here you can see it and so again uh, so what will happen so just uh, one mistake is happened this will be your not oh this will be oh and this will be your o cs2 cs3 so just an improvement this is your upside this is your downside this will be remain as it is so these are two type of product will be there and these two products are uh, acetyl or we can see it is, a, it is called as glycosidic bond so this anomaly carbon is a bond between anomaly carbon and alkoxy oxygen so this oxygen is two types and it is if you, you can use a, if pyranose and if you use the furanose name is used then the acetyl is called as pyranocyte so this is also called as pyranocyte or furanocyte so two names is there one is you can say acetyl or you can say pyranocytes or furanocyte furanocyte means uh, it is five member carbons and pyranocyte means six member carbons you can see uh, what is hemiacetyl so this carbon is cs3 and o you can see o and this group is there o this group is there it's called acetyl hemiacetyl uh, similarly cs this carbon have or cs3 or so this carbon is also hemiacetyl this is hemiketal because this is the ring chain and one cs3 is there this is acetyl acetyl means this carbon has two o cs3 and cs3 so this carbon has one oxygen one oxygen so this is your acetyl and if you take ketal so ketal will be uh, this carbon has two oh and two cs3 so this type of thing is called as ketal and this is called acetyl so this is acetyl this is hemiacetyl acetyls and ketals are the non-reducing sugars and while the hemiacetals are called as the hemiacetyl or hemiketals are called as reducing sugars